Unit 1, Earth and Space Week 2, Plate Tectonics Once again, I am Teacher May and I will be your teacher today Let us recall our previous lesson We learned that some, but not all, volcanoes are related to earthquakes most earthquakes are along the edges of tectonic plates, in which this is where most volcanoes are too. However, most earthquakes are caused by the interaction of plates, not the movement of magma. Most earthquakes directly beneath a volcano are caused by the movement of magma, which causes harmonic tremor in which these earthquakes are not usually felt but can be recorded by sensitive instruments. Our objectives for today Describe the distribution of active volcanoes and earthquake epicenters and cite ways on how to reduce the devastating effects caused by volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. Do you remember any significant disaster that took place during the year 2019 to 2020? Time's up! Authorities in the Philippines are warning that a volcano near the capital could be on the verge of a dangerous eruption. Well, the Tal volcano, about 60 kilometers south of Manila, began spewing ash and lava on Sunday. While Tal sits in a picturesque lake and is one of the most active volcanoes in a region where earthquakes and eruptions are a daily part of life. And Manila's international airport was temporarily closed and tens of thousands of people have fled while others are refusing to leave their homes and farms. Yes, it is when the Taal volcano has recently erupted and several earthquakes occurred in various places in the Philippines. This resulted in the suspension of classes, work schedules, flights in the area and devastated many lives and livelihoods. Please prepare the following materials for this activity your learning activity sheet with a map of earthquake distribution and a map of active volcanoes around the world two pieces plastic sheets used as book cover of the same size you may opt to use any transparent plastic sheet found at home if a book cover is not available and Marking pens, blue and black, or any two different colors. Do not forget to write your name on the learning activity sheet. Then, let's begin. Study the map below showing the earthquake distribution around the world. Place the plastic sheet over the map. Trace the approximate location of several earthquake clusters using a black marking pen on the plastic sheet. Guide questions. How are earthquakes distributed on the map? Again, how are earthquakes distributed on the map? Time's up! Answer. Earthquakes are not randomly distributed over the Earth's surface. Guide question number two. Where are the earthquake epicenters located? Again, where are the earthquake epicenters located? Time's up! Answer. Most earthquake epicenters are concentrated in a narrow zone and are located at the edge of some continents and the Pacific Plate. Guide question number three. Why is it important for us to identify areas that are prone to earthquakes? Again, 
why is it important for us to identify areas which are prone to earthquakes? Time's up! Answer! That is, in order for us to be prepared for possible disasters which may occur anytime within the area. Now, do the same on the map of active volcanoes, but this time, use a blue marking pen and another piece of plastic sheet. Place the plastic sheet over the map. Trace the approximate location of several active volcanoes using a blue marking pen on the plastic sheet. Guide question number five. How are volcanoes distributed on the map? Again, how are volcanoes distributed on the map? Time's up! Answer! Volcanoes are not randomly distributed. Majority of the active volcanoes are found along the edges of some continents. Guide question number six. Where are the active volcanoes located? Again, where are the active volcanoes located? Time's up! Answer! Most are located along the edges of some continents, particularly on the western coast of North and South America, East and Southeast Asia. Now, place the earthquake plastic sheet over the volcano plastic sheet. Again, place the earthquake plastic sheet over the volcano plastic sheet. Guide question number 8. Compare the location of the majority of earthquake epicenters with the location of active volcanoes around the world. Again, compare the location of the majority of earthquake epicenters with the location of active volcanoes around the world. Time's up! Answer. Earthquake epicenters and volcanoes are both situated at same locations. Please keep the two plastic sheets for the next activity. Earthquakes are results from the movement of tectonic plates. These tectonic plates move, interact with each other, and are responsible for the formation of ocean basins mountain ranges, islands, volcanoes, and earthquakes. Many of the world's active volcanoes are located around the edges of the Pacific Ocean, the west coast of the Americas, the east coast of Siberia, Japan, the Philippines, and Indonesia, and in island chains from New Guinea to New Zealand. The so-called Ring of Fire. You just have witnessed how destructive volcanic eruptions can be. Just like what happened in Valdivia, Chile, and in Mount Tambora in Indonesia, and in Taal Volcano in the Philippines just last year. The question is, how can you contribute to the government in order to reduce the devastating effects caused by disasters like volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. To know more on how to be ready for disasters like volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, watch this video. The Philippines is a country that is likely to experience a series of various natural disasters like floods, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions. These events are inevitable. Therefore, 
we have to be knowledgeable on what to do in order to avoid disastrous consequences, just like the loss of many lives. In this video, you will learn about the steps to take in order to be ready with natural calamities. Want to be prepared for an impending disaster? Flood, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions are only few of the possible disasters which may hit our country anytime. So here are three simple steps you need to follow. Step 1. Be informed. Learn what you need to know to keep your family safe. Know what kind of disasters are likely to occur within your area and monitor the news through the radio, television, and social media. Learn how to do first aid and CPR. Share your knowledge to your family members and friends on how to be ready. Step 2. Prepare an emergency bag. Your emergency bag should contain the following items. Non-perishable food items like crackers or biscuits, canned goods, and clean drinking water. First aid kits like bandage, plasters, and antiseptics or disinfectants for cleaning wounds. Tools like rope and multi-tool knife. Hygiene kit like toothpaste, toothbrush, and bath soap. Important documents like identification cards. Cash. Cellular phone with extra batteries and power bank. Flashlights. Extra clean clothes and raincoat. And during this time of pandemic, do not forget to bring hand sanitizers like alcohol, extra face masks, and face shields. Step 3. Prepare a disaster preparedness plan. Have a couple of designated meeting places just in case any of your family members gets separated. It is wise to have a meeting spot one outside your home and the other in your neighborhood in case of an evacuation. Once already safe, remember to contact other family members or let them know that you are okay through text or call or through the social media. Why is it important to learn about the distribution of active volcanoes and earthquake epicenters? Again, why is it important to learn about the distribution of active volcanoes and earthquake epicenters? What have you learned from the distribution of active volcanoes and earthquake epicenters? Again, what have you learned from the distribution of active volcanoes and earthquake epicenters? What ways can you suggest in order to help your family prepare for an impending disaster like volcanic eruptions and earthquakes? Again, what ways can you suggest in order to help your family prepare for an impending disaster like volcanic eruption and earthquakes? Please write down your answers on the learning activity sheet. So that's all for today and see you on our next video lesson. Bye!